Hello everyone around the world. Welcome back to my channel, Adana Lovrens Ministry. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, so that you'll be notified of my new videos. Guys, don't forget to check the description below in regards about my two books. Warning to this video, first edition, and warning to this video, second edition. These are both available on Amazon. So just to let you know, guys, that this first edition has already reached out around 292,000 people around the world. So... God, the Holy Spirit has been prompting me to share this book to you because there are lots of teachings in this book. I am not going to be uh, uh, secretive about it. I used to be, but now just to let you know that these are my tools that I have been using to bring the lost. So, my, you know, my, my book has, my books have lots of verses have lots of teachings, especially in the second edition. So I, I have mentioned in the second edition about the importance of the water baptism. So right after you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord, your God, and your Savior, your second step, so that was your first step, your second step is the water baptism. And then next would be the Holy Spirit baptism. Then importance of ties and a lot more, guys. Actually, I included also the principles of marriage here. You know, and then, guys, these two books, I have written also the prophetic dreams that Jesus Christ gave me before my car accident. It was last, back 2008, I believe, that I had a dream about heaven. Heaven, again. I have a dream about hell. I had a dream about nuclear war, World War Three. I saw lots of people, people, I mean, I don't know if it was here in America, but I saw lots of people, you know, including children running, uh, running for their lives. I mean, they're trying to save their lives because of the war so guys um check this book and you know you can show this or you can share this i mean you can share this books to your friends especially your friends are planning to kill themselves who are victims of abuse who are uh, dealing with addiction any types of addiction and let them know that i am a living testimony and so do you if you have overcome a lot of troubles in your life in the past and you have a better life now because of Jesus that is your great testimony don't keep your testimony share that to other people so that they will know that your God Jesus and my God Jesus can change their lives guys Check out my books in this channel. Otherwise, you can visit my page. That, again, so that you can visit my page. That is www.amazon.com slash author slash adrenal leverance. And also, I do not want you to, to uh, forget that this book, this is way important than my books just to let you know my books guys are just an initiation or just a, a testimony so that you can be drawn to the lord jesus christ but then the holy bible the bible these are god's words as you know that this his words will be used will be used to judge us all in the judgment day so if you would like to be taken in heaven, there is a rapture. If you know his plans for your life, if you want to know his purpose for your life, if you want to be blessed by the Lord, if you want to know who are the qualified people to be in heaven, read your Bible and apply his words. So we are all called where we're all told by G by Jesus through the writings of Paul that we must we must 
work out our salvation with fear and trembling. So, if you want to go that direction, follow the Lord, His blessings, His purpose, plans for your life. If you want to be end up in heaven, heaven, again, if you want to end up in heaven, read your Bible and apply His words every single day. But then if you just want to live a wicked life, you just want to disobey God, you can do that too. But without Jesus, you will go to hell. So today, I have received another words from the Lord while I was spending time with Him. So I don't know how when I, when I will going to be able to post it, but I am trying my best to to post these words. So these are God's these are God's words, and have a lot of testimonies that I supposed to be working on. But anyway, guys, these are God's words. I've been uploading video in this channel and also have posted a lot of God's words on my Facebook page. That is www.facebook.com slash Adrenal B. All right, guys, I have a word for you. This is God's word, 8-13-22. So he spoke to me last August 13, 2022, that was last year. The title of this message is, Once you declare that you are a Christian or follower of Jesus Christ, you are in his business. He gave me several verses. All right, here you go. In the book of Mark, chapter 16, verse 15, it says, ESV, or English Standard Version, it says, And he said to them, Go into all the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole creation. And you can also see that uh, verses in the book of Luke, chapter 14, verse 23, and Matthew, chapter 28, verse 19. And then also in the book of 2 Timothy, Chapter 4, verse 2, ESV or English Standard Version, it says, Preach the word, be ready in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort with complete patience and teaching. And then, in the book of Timothy, chapter 4, verse 5, ESV, English Standard Version, it says, As for you, always be sober-minded. Endure suffering. Do the work of an evangelist. Fulfill your ministry. The word says, Once we accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord, our God and personal Savior, or shall we say we joined to his camp, that is Christianity. Whether we like it or not, we are part of his business and ministry. We, we, all followers of Christ, Christians are called to preach the gospel. Jesus did not or didn't specify only the 12 apostles. He didn't even specify the, the women or the women are not included or only the men. All it means either you you're a woman or a man, you are, and if you are a Christian, you are supposed to do his calling. Preach the gospel. That's an ad lib. And again, Jesus didn't specify only the twelve apostles to preach the gospel, but he specified all his followers to preach the gospel we are not called to sit down in the four corners of the building to listen only and chit chat there is a time for that this last of last days or last hour of last days we live in is not a time to be lazy but this is a time right now Again, but this is the time right now to reach out the lost as many as we can. We have already seen so many deaths due to these viruses. 
We don't know if God gave them the time to repent and accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. But what if God didn't give them that time? This is an ad-lib. What about these people who are victims or who died in this war? Ukraine? Uh, Russia? Then this Hamas? Israel? War? Those people who died, there are many of them, like maybe 3,000 now. So what do you think? Those people who, res who refuse to receive Jesus Christ. Have you ever thought about it? If you will be in that situation and you did not receive Jesus Christ, I'm just wondering if they repent or if they repented before they die. So, that's an ad lib. And again, we don't know if God gave them the time to repent and accept Jesus Christ as their Lord, their God and Savior. But, but what if God didn't give them that time? Where do you think they will go? No Jesus, no eternal life. Period. That is God's policy. None of us can change that policy. We will have more plagues or or pestilence is coming. Get ready for that. That's the Bible. That's what the Bible say. They're coming very soon. So get ready. Christians, people around the world, Christians around the world, not only in this nation, in this town, but around the world, get up, get up, put on your whole armor of God. That is in the book of Ephesians, chapter 6. 11, verse 11, then 13, 17, yes, we, it says, Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. Stand therefore, sorry, therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the devil in the evil day. And having done all, to stand firm, stand therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and as shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Preach the gospel. Use any available tools to reach out to the lost. Use this site, uh, YouTube channel, Facebook, whatever show media that it can do for Jesus. Where billions of people use this site, you. Facebook, the social media, and any other YouTube channel, and any medias, then do it. Do it. Do something to be an extended arms of Jesus Christ in this last, last evil days. Do not make any excuses. As Jesus did not make any excuse, many he did, not, he did not make any excuses to die on the cross for your sins, for my sins. For our sins. Do not be the hearer of the words. But doers of the words. Do not be a fruitless Christian. But a fruitful Christian. Faith without work is dead. You do not want to be called a dead church. In the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 16, yes, we are English standard version. It says, And to the angel of the church in Sardis write, The words of him who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know your works. You have the reputation of being alive, but you are dead. Wake up and strengthen the, strengthen 
sorry about that, sending what remains and is about to die. For I have not found your works complete in the sight of my God. Remember, remember then what you received and heard. Keep it and repent. If you will not wake up, I will come like a thief and you will not know at all what hour I will come against you. Yet you have still a few names in Sardis, people who have not soiled their garments and they will walk with me in white, for they are worthy. The one who conquers will be clothed thus in white garments and they will walk with me in white, for they are worthy. Sorry about that, guys. And it says here, I repeated it, in the chapter 5, I get messed up, sorry. Uh, in chapter 5, oh no, in verse 5, it says, The one who conquers will be clothed thus in white garments, and I will never, that's what I mean, I will never blot his name out of the book of life. I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. So guys, that's the word. If you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord, you're getting your Savior. Today's the day of your salvation. Don't wait tomorrow because tomorrow is no guarantee for you. You're not going to say, uh, I have time because you don't know the time. God created the time and God has your life. If he will be done, if he is done with you, he's going to let you die. Even you're not, uh, you did not repent. So Today is the day of your salvation. Don't wait tomorrow. All you have to do is to repent. Invite Jesus Christ as your Lord, your God, and your Savior. And then promise Him to follow Him for the rest of your life. You can pray your own simple prayer. Or you can pray along with this simple prayer. Here you go. Lord Jesus Christ, please forgive me for all my sins. Please come into my heart and into my life. And be my Lord, my God, and my Savior. From now on, Jesus, I will follow you for the rest of my life. Amen. So if you pray the simple prayer according to the Bible, your name is written in the book of life. But if you're still refusing and rejecting Jesus Christ as your Lord, your God, and your Savior, because you want to go your way, according to the Bible, in the book of Revelation chapter 20, verse 15, it says, If anyone's name was not written in the book of life, was casted in the lake of fire. Take this as a warning. An invitation. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.